Hi, my name is Anjun. I'm a managing director for a technology firm. We were using a Zoho projects and then moved to monday.com. So for more reviews like this, please click below. So both Zoho projects and monday.com address the critical functionality of actually having an effective project management tool that's handy, that's collaborative in nature, that's open source and can be accessed pretty much by a global client base. What we did not want is we did not want a product that was ensconed in a server, had a strict domicile on in a certain location. We needed that um, connectivity and accessibility throughout our global workforce. And so we, lo we were looking into these kind of, not necessarily open source, but easily accessible open platforms. So Monday.com is really good for collaborative purposes. Um, it's one of the few products where I can actually share one side of Monday.com with my internal team. And I can also have certain areas of Monday.com that I can actually share with our clients uh, on the other side without number one, infringing on any of the security parameters or taking away from the accessibility features associated with that product. That is one of the, th the things that we r really appreciate the most about monday.com so that it can actually have collaboration both internally and externally. Zoho projects, um, on the other hand, what we found was really good for internal collaboration. Let's say if I was putting together Kanban boards, if I was trying to migrate certain tasks through, um, Zoho projects would be fantastic for. In terms of collaboration, I didn't find that too much to be an, uh, an available feature within Zoho projects. But in terms of being able to collaborate internally, create Kanban boards, micro migrate those Kanban boards, um, have it plug into our agile project management approach, Zoho was fantastic for that. What we can actually say is that it is extremely easy to work with either of these two products. Um, they're very accommodating um, in terms of launching them. It's basically just signing on. It's web-based. Um, it's very easy to do. In terms of secure security protocols, um, our internal security team had a little bit easier experience with monday.com than they did with Zoho projects in terms of gaining the security protocols correct. And that was the only differentiation that we saw. Other than that, it was extremely easy to start with either of those two products. Look, the top considerations, uh, the biz top business considerations that we have when, whenever we're choosing software like this is, I mean, we can always talk about cost and cost is always a, a consideration. Both of them actually met our our, our parameters for what kind of costing we were willing to absorb. But really it comes down to whether or not it allows us to collaborate, whether or not it allows us to collaborate seamlessly um, in terms of migrating a project through. Could we have collaboration with our clients as well as with our internal resources um, clearly and on demand? And would the platform be readily available 24-7? What's the uptime associated with the application? Because obviously when you're dealing with a global client base, you've got different time zones to contend with, and they should be able to access the platform just as easily. So those are some of the core components that we were taking a look at. Costing, collaboration, and uptime um, in terms of, of choosing a software such as this.